for the day and what you got to say, twin. It's so weird. I'm not gonna lie. Almost pretty much packed. I'll show you, I ain't gonna show you all the clothes because I got a lot in that suitcase. This is my fit of the day. Deodorant because I ran out last night. Babe, what you got to say? Do a trick or something. I can't do a trick. <laughs> okay. I don't know when Pops is coming to pick me up. I just woke up. You're a turkey, bro. SD cards, bag, computer. Sad, bro. <laughs> you gotta tell in the car drinking milkshakes, Chick fil A milkshakes. Yeah, yeah. Next YouTuber, <laughs> what you gotta tell him? What's your YouTube name? Just don't drop it, it's expensive. I know, it's expensive. You do know? Yeah. In the car, matching sleeping pillows. Yeah, yep. I will be at Florida today for my birthday. How old are you turning? How, hold on, tell them how old you're turning. I'm turning eight. Eight? Yeah, if my friends have, are coming with me. If you could have any present, what is it? Mm. This big thing I got right here, my mom and dad got me. Number one birthday present? Yep. Is that your best birthday present? Yep, best one I ever got. Best one I ever got. You don't hear it. You're making a YouTube video right now, too? Mm. You're starting young. It's a little video. By the time you get my age, you're going to have like a bajillion subscribers. I know. <laughs> I'll be a YouTuber. You are? I'll be when I grow up. That's what I was thinking. You're going to be like Jake Paul? <laughs> Next Jake Paul? The problem child. You are a problem child. Not really. Not really? And look at all this stuff I wanted to pack back here. Yeah, you did pack I wanted, everything. Those are my cupcakes and there's my basketball goal. Yeah. You showing them? Yeah. Just don't hit any buttons or it'll turn off. So, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Um, no. We're in Alabama. How's, is this your first time in Alabama? Second. Second. Do you remember your first time? No, it's my first time here. Yeah, it's my first time too. You know what they say in Alabama? No. Nope. I don't either. How do they talk in Alabama? <laughs> Light bees. Light bees. <laughs> oh, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> do you think so? I don't think they talk about those. When we get to Florida, we'll do another video. All right, we'll update them in Florida. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Trick shot. It's We're still like two still, it's still. Two in a row. How many in a row? Three off the ceiling. <laughs> Bro, we're both in a video. We're both Whoever at the same gets time. more subscribers wins, and we get this belt. Yep. Yeah, First one to guys. 10, yeah. So make me get the most subscribers, okay? You give him zero subscribers. Give me the most subscribers, okay? Bye. Peace. We're we going on the cap cut. Oh, <laughs> Did you ask for it? Or what do you have to do to get it? Can I get it, please, Dad? What? Cap cut. Well, it, this edit, yeah, it just puts videos into. Yeah, mommy can approve it.
one to one video. Hi, First one to 10,000 gets a Lamborghini. Wee! I give away an iPhone. Nine year olds, 11 year olds, 12 year olds, everyone that's watching this video, comment to you what you want to do today. And here's my brother recording me. Yeah, we okay. got two cameras. Bye! Recording. That was a good first video. Yeah. Alright, now you can go into CapCut. This is how you can put all your Let's videos. Let's go, in. guys! Yeah, we can sit, we sit all your cars in the, uh, in the garage, you know? Yeah, you gotta do your car. My eight year old's car collection. Yeah, you know, bezel segway, scooters, <laughs> dirt bike. Yeah, oh, well, skip that. Million subscribers. Subscribers, one of you are getting this. <laughs> That's a steal. What's good about that one? It's a metal belt I got from WWE. Steph freaking Rotten. It's his real belt. Off of his own shit. You just broke a beat off of it. So, you better put this in the case when I give it away. I have four million subscribers. Champion! <laughs> it's 10 o'clock, it's 10 01, and we just got into Florida, guys. So I've been playing on best, watching TV for about Showing an hour. Back, watching TV. Yeah, but now we're here for a basketball. We slam dunk that, we slam dunk that, we slam dunk everything. Oh, y'all remember this? That did, they did not forget about the WWE belt. No one else has that one. You kissing? <laughs> Is that good luck? Right, let me see if I can spin it. Only me and my brother can. You have to have this. This. Yeah, nobody else is in basketball. Alright, you're gonna hold it. Don't hit buttons. Hold it. Alright, let me see if I can spin it on the. Make it in. Slam dunk it already. Slam dunk. Let me get a couple of basketball spins. Hey! Half court. Let's half go. court shot. I'm gonna get a half court shot. See if you can. To... Oh. Half court. He made it. Look, look how dark it is outside, guys. You can barely see anything. Yeah, but you can see me. Or we gotta keep the light on. Mm -hmm. You can they barely can see, see outside me. now with the light off. Yeah. In the back where it's no lights, no street lights. Yeah. There's mom. Mom, say hi. Hey. Okay, viewers, this is almost about the video. It's almost the video? Yeah. You're gonna update so, it on your iPod? Yeah, uh, iPad. I'll update on my iPad. Now, let me hold the camera and right. use it, let you say goodbye. Hold up. See y'all in it's a little blurry. the next location. We're going to the next location. Bye. In the middle of the ocean, Bermuda Triangle. What's up? Bye! Let me make a bucket before y'all right. leave. Half court shot from the corner. Yep, great. Hello! Half court. Hello. He can't make it. He just <laughs> makes bricks. I, I make it. I make every shot. Brick. That one was a brick. That was wait, the first wait, one. wait, 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 wait. Let me shoot one. I'm gonna shoot one POV basketball. Half court miss. POV I miss. <laughs> Three. Cameraman. Yeah. Hey, I'm the cameraman now. New I made cameraman cameramans all, for you're almost all of your videos. Yeah, you're my new cameraman. That way I don't gotta hold it. No, I can you hold be the cameraman. it. I can hold it and be like, what's up, y'all? Woo! What's up, I'm a YouTuber with my brother, and look at y'all. How come you got a cooler camera than I do? 
So yeah, I I can I afford this. How do you afford it? My brother got it for me. Free camera. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, he we're back for another channel. We're back from the other one like five minutes ago. That was like two seconds. You mean like five like a minute ago? Yeah. Like a minute ago. So Why we're at eight? we're going to the we're going to the police station. To turn you in. No. No. What are we doing at the police station? I'm just kidding. We're going to Florida. Look at my foot. I'm the cameraman, guys. New so cameraman. first time seeing the cameraman. First time seeing the cameraman. But yeah, I the cameraman can't in reveal some, himself. Some videos, I'm in them, but my brother's the cameraman, so let me have that camera back. Kind of blurry. Kind of blurry. <laughs> okay, okay. You'll get better at your camera skills. Continue straight. So. Nobody else. I've never seen a championship belt so high quality right there. They don't sell that in stores. No, it's just in the WWE shop. Yeah, just WWE Bananas. shop. You got the camera? All right. So, Mom, where did you get it? I have no idea. From the WWE shop? Yeah, you just told them where you got it. Got the feet in the WWE face. WWE shop. Burst, like, mm. uh, See if we can high five my feet. All right, foot high five. Let me see. Guys, let me get this up close. Probably. So guys, 56 minutes, we're ready. Woo! So we'll, this video is going to be 56 minutes long. Probably an hour long vlog. First, yeah. first video is an hour long vlog. Everybody, we're walking <laughs> in from the hotel. We're in Florida, but it's our hotel for one night. So come on. It smells different here than it does in South Carolina. Hold come on, on. Make guys. Sure we don't, hold up, make sure we don't hit the car. Take that off. What? I gotta keep it on. That's my pillow. Take it off. I can't keep it on. I gotta get my gotta stuff get out, my trash. Oh, I'm gonna hold it out here. I bring my just see it. Bring the trash. Mine's underneath the, my sweater. It's gonna be some good. It's gonna be good. We in Florida. Does it smell different? It smells different. The palm trees. What you gotta say? Bro, it's so good to be back in Florida. <laughs> be back in Florida, you act like you've been here your whole life. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> what? I live here now. You live here now? All right, is this your first car right here? No. Huh? No. No. All right, we're good, we're good. We're recording. Get to wait for me. You do what? You are not a diamond member, boy. You What's gotta get your money up. So you wanna be on my brother's YouTube channel? <laughs> he doesn't wanna be on it. He doesn't wanna be on it? No. Okay. It's your YouTube on, channel guys. at this point. You what? He does have a YouTube channel? It's your Come YouTube on, channel guys. for the day. Where are you gonna go? You're taking them to nowhere. Going. This is my friends, guys. Y'all celebrating in Sully. Florida. Y'all. It's my birthday. Your hair's sticking up. They're the next people. Oh, they'll get ran over. Yeah, let's go here so we don't get ran over. Come on, guys. But I gotta go to the bathroom. Let's wait for right, right here, guys. Look at that big hotel we're staying in. <laughs> is this your first time in a hotel? <laughs> it's the first time in this one. In this one? Yeah, that is your too. first time. Bro, I told you they had a pool. Yeah, it's Night so swimming. tiny. I told you they had a pool. I don't know if you want to swim in that. It does. It's probably cold. I don't know if I would either. It's only, that's only four feet. That's how tall I am. I don't think you're touching on that one. I'm feet. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm going to be two. so fun. Come on. You ready? Dang. Y'all keep multiplying. These are my friends. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's see what it looks like inside. All right. Don't be crazy in here. You hear me? You tell them what you gotta tell them. Oh, <laughs> it looks so good. It smells so good. Outside right now. What is that? Sully. Don't be crazy. This is where people come and sit and relax. Look how cool that is, guys. What is everything? <laughs> it's so cool. Where's the bathroom? Oh, you got an egg thing on Okay, hold up. Where's the bathroom? Dang, 
Okay. Can you fit in the egg? Can I fit in the egg with you? All right. Oh, this thing might flip. It won't. We're in the egg together. Okay, guys, we're in the egg. We're in the egg. You got your own egg? What you got to say? It's the Tell best them. place. Yo, let's, let's get this party started. Something motivational. What do you got to tell your fans? I love this. It's the best. Do what? Okay, okay. You said it is the So, best? guys, you, sh you all stay right here. I'm using the bathroom. I'm in the elevator. Number three. Number three. Number three. Rose got it. I'm just following him. Oh, that's right. You're his photographer. Yeah. I'm his video now. Oh, you're his channel now. Oh, I don't know. Someone got to hold the door. Yeah. yeah. Someone does. Where, which one? Three on eight. Three on nine. Okay, I'm nine. Come on, guys. Three on eight. Three. Come on. I wonder. Look like how skinny these hallways are. Come on. I'll wait for you. All right. You got to keep running away from me. It doesn't have a zoom on it. Hey guys, are we in 308? We're over here, yep. Are we all? Take them on the room tour. Room tour, you almost knocked her out. Rowan, that's your room, over there. What if she wants to see your room? You can come hang out. Let's go, this is room tour. Use the bathroom. Bathroom? This is a big shower. This is a small shower. This is a big shower, isn't it? What kind of things are these? Have you ever seen this? What? Look at this. Not soap. All right, on to the okay, next. We have these hangers. Hangers. And you don't know where. Where does that go? We have lights right there. Where do you think that goes? Yeah, don't know unless I guess it's to the neighbors. Uh. <laughs> is we it really? Know, we don't know them. Now that would be cool. They would put us two rooms side by side. Uh, then we could just yeah. open the door up. We'd be connected. You don't come in. This is our bed. This me and This is our bed. Don't come there. We get to cuddle for the night. <laughs> don't. They're gonna drool on me. No, well. John Cena! Right, you need to calm down. Right. It's time for bed. Alright, just cool. go down. Gotta go to bed. Stabs now. Good, it's good night time. Stabs now. Come on. Let's he go does an RKO. Batista bomb. It's night time. It's three hours past your bedtime. I'm gonna do an RKO to finish it. We made it to Florida last night, as y'all boys saw. Y'all gotta leave a dub in the comment for my boy. Shout out to my little brother in the comments. He's been excited, bro. All he wants to do is be in my YouTube videos. So this is our first collab bro y'all make sure to show love to him in the comments because y'all can see bro's already coming with the energy at eight years old bro so it's pretty cool to see it's funny um but i hope y'all boys enjoy this video this video is going to be like a a long vlog my whole trip in destin so i don't know maybe i'll split it up if the videos get too long or i feel like the video might get too long but right now we are it is like saturday we're going to be here until the following friday so I got a lot of videos, got a lot of time with y'all boys. It's currently Saturday though. We drove all the way to Destin. We're pretty much where we're supposed to be. We just couldn't check into our place until today. So we stayed at this hotel. It's currently 8.46 in the morning and they stopped serving breakfast at 10. And your boy just had to take a little shitter and a little shower because if you do know, bro, I got a shit shower. Like that's just me. I got to clean it up to the thoroughest. I just, I just don't understand, bro. Like if I was a dog, if I was a dog, I don't know if I could do it because I gotta poop and stay clean. If I got a dingleberry, bro, it's gonna make me mad. But we're getting out of the hotel. As your boys can see, this is the room for just the night. Pretty cool, light list to ease. But let's get out of here. Let's show y'all the views on the views. Nice little backyard of somebody's crib. That shit's goofy. I couldn't be living right there. And then, uh, yeah have like a hotel looking straight into my backyard that's kind of crazy to me but let's grab our book bag we packed lightly oh this is all we got this right here throw some deodorant on we gonna get up out of here eat our complimentary breakfast we put y'all boys right here i'm gonna make this like a fat little long vlog so 
y'all get the full effect. It might break into two videos because my homie wants to record every chance he can get. Like, I'm sure as soon as I get out of here, he's going to want to record downstairs. And there's so many people. So bro's got me recording out of my comfort zone. But it's cool because, like, you can't tell an eight-year-old, like, nah, bro, I'm not going to record because I'm scared. So everything happens for a reason. This is time to grow. We're going to grow. Maybe by the end of this week, your boy's like, not going to be scared of pulling out the camera. It's not like I'm scared. It's just, I don't like being the main attention. And I know if I'm walking around with like a camera set up like this, people are going to think I'm like popping my sh It makes me feel weird. Like I just, I like attention. I don't mind attention. I just don't like being the center of it. I don't know. Cause like, you know how people are. If somebody's getting more attention than them, they tend to like not like the person. So I try to be like a laid back chill person. But let's get out of here. Make sure I got my wallet, phone, camera, the most important tees. Let's get up out of here, chat. Spam that team. You can see. Hey, what's Where's up, that, everybody? We're eating breakfast. We're, yeah, we're eating breakfast. Where's your card up? So I can put them together. Yeah. So, don't so lose them. let me move this out of the way. It's not you mine. You gotta show them what you're eating for breakfast. It's not mine. That's not yours? This is my so breakfast. So I'm my mom's giving me some milk. And come outside with me, guys. I gotta eat my breakfast. So come outside. I gotta eat my breakfast. We're not going outside. I can bring the cam outside. No, you can't. I gotta show them we got free breakfast. Sausage, pancake, okay. yogurt, yo play. Pancake. I want a pancake. You want pancakes? Lucky Charms, yeah. blueberry muffin. What you got? Thank you. I got this. I got fruit loops and some milk. You're gonna drink that? It's, and probably, I gonna got be, it's probably gonna be solid, and, hard milk. And I'm gonna get low fat milk. <laughs> but I got, I got more yeah. stuff. Yes. You got all the sugar you can get. This is a pancake maker over there, guys. pancake, do what? Uh, let me hold the camera. Huh? Let me hold the camera. Don't go outside. Uh, Don't hit no buttons. Okay, guys. It's a little blurry. Be careful. Yeah, Sally. Don't play golf. I mean, he's playing pool, guys. You gotta hit the one ball, right? Yeah, we gotta hit it off the wall. Ooh, you almost hit it. What balls are you? Which one are you? We gotta hit the one ball. We gotta hit the one ball. No, so, um, you're Scott? Live from Florida, the best, the greatest, the one, the only. My daddy. And, the, and you gotta get Niceville in there. Live from Niceville. Live Nice. So the quickest, the quickest way once we get it. Cheese. It's recording, we're gonna run out of minutes. He makes it! <laughs> V-Bucks. How many V-Bucks do you have now? I don't There's know. There's like a million V-Bucks. We got a 13,000 one yesterday. 13,000 one? She got to tell them. I love you, Bailey! <laughs> a and Here, let awesome. me see. What? Now it's pointed at me. Uh -huh. right now. He's, he's opening it. Oh. Bro. What bro, is that? You, you never looked at the, all the cards. Good morning, boys. I've officially made it to Destin, Florida. As you all can see, that's your boy in the mirror right there. It's been a couple of days since I updated y'all, since I got to the beach. This is like our I want to say our third day here. I've slept two nights, so it's currently Monday. 
April Fools, boys. I'm giving up. I'm quitting. I plan on making this my my last YouTube video ever. I'm just kidding, goof ass. But I'm about to show y'all boys the crib that we are staying in, the condo that we are living in for the week. So I'm about to take y'all in from the front door. So as you walk in, welcome to the condo for the week. As you can see, it's a nice little casual condo. Something about just like a living room with, you know, a bunch of windows. Just, uh, I don't know. It makes me feel like life is bigger than it is. I don't know why. I guess because I've never really been in a whole lot of places that have a whole lot of full living room windows and something about it just makes it feel like life is limitless. I don't know. That may sound goofy, but that's how living rooms with a bunch of glass windows make me feel. Or maybe it's like being on something more than a second story or a first story because like if you look outside, you can kind of see the beach right here. You can see the ground. You can look down on people. And maybe that's what it is. Looking down on people makes you feel bigger than the world sometimes. But it's probably how it would feel up there. But they probably feel the same, you know. But as you can see, it's a nice little condo. Give you all the 360 around and show you all boys what we're working with. You can see all the hotels, all the condos, all the everythings. Doing a couple of renovations over there, as y'all boys can see. Nothing much going on, just a nice open area. Nice open windows. I'm going to take y'all boys back here. Got a couple of rooms for everybody. Got one room, another room. I'm not going to take you in there. Bathroom, and this is the room I'm staying in with my brother and everything. Y'all boys, drop down below. If y'all want me to make some videos with my brother. I haven't made any just because, like, um... I haven't made any really with him because he's a little bit younger, as y'all saw. My boy is about to have his birthday tomorrow, actually. So he's getting a little bit older. He's starting to watch YouTube a little bit, realizing what YouTube is, realizing that I make YouTube videos. And I just haven't made any just because the content I make, I curse a little bit sometimes. So that's something I got to look at. But if y'all look out this way, this is probably the best room in the crib. Like I've got the, uh, the room with the best view. I'm going to go ahead and move this over here so y'all can get the full effect. But this is the best room right here, as you boys can see. Got the ocean. You can see everything. Something about this just feels magical. I don't know why. I guess because it's different, something new. Never been to the beach like this. Never ever seen nothing like this. So it's cool to see a different perspective. That's what life is. Everybody's probably like, or y'all boys may have been here or something or maybe you live here and you're tired of it and you want to change but that's probably like anywhere in life life is just based on perspective you know everybody needs a change in a little while and i've been needing a change for a little while i've been needing to see something different other than my surroundings of where i live you know what i'm saying we're out here in uh dustin florida and it's beautiful it's a little bit colder it's like 70 degrees but it's nice it feels good out here a little cold but I'm staying inside right now getting a little bit of work done just because I haven't really recorded updates y'all boys since the road trip and y'all know me I got to work on a little bit of my awkwardness behind the camera I'm super good at um you know talking to you boys like this right here but if I were to um get in public around people I know I think that's where I struggle the most I struggle the most with like talking like this in public or actually being myself I guess because the content I've made forever is just a little bit different than what I feel like I've started to grow to enjoy. I've started to grow and enjoy like content like talking to y'all, explain how I'm feeling, explain and try to motivate and inspire the youth. And I've got a lot of people now watching my videos, a lot of people starting to figure out I make videos, parents, family members starting to figure out that I'm making videos and all sorts of stuff like that. And something that always gets brought up to me is having to stop cursing in my videos and y'all saw i got a bunch of little kids in my videos now and to kids like if you make videos bro you're like a uh, a superhero you know what i mean like real deal you know people look at youtubers like bigger than music artists bigger than movie artists bigger than 
pretty much the world. Like when you think of celebrities now, people think of YouTubers. And like when you say you make YouTube videos, nobody actually knows. Like it's like whenever you called somebody famous, you just they used to be a movie actor, they used to be this, they used to be that. And then now you say like he makes YouTube videos, he's a YouTuber, and now like you're kind of associated with that off rip. Like people just expect you to be a millionaire or have a lot of money or whatnot and it's kind of cool because sometimes people perceive you as to be that way so sometimes I get opportunities and cool things come out of making videos that I probably never would have ever encountered or ever experienced if I wasn't in the shoes of making videos these videos have changed my life it's grown me and as a person it's um, made me want to become a little more educated because as most of y'all boys know let me try to find somewhere to set y'all boys down because I'm trying to get this like cool little background and I gotta stop cursing as much because I got my little brother in my videos, my little brother's watching my videos, so I'm gonna start bleeping everything out to keep everything kind of more family friendly and that way my channel can grow, that way my brother and friends and everybody shows like, it's kind of weird when the kids and their family is like, you make YouTube videos, what do you make videos on? And I'm like, yeah, I make videos, but you just might not want to let your kid watch it because I, I curse and it, it feels weird. You know what I mean? Million dollar mindset, bro. Stuff that school is not going to teach you, boys. So, like, I always struggle trying to, like, I didn't bring my tripod with me. And making videos, I always struggle trying to find, like, a sturdy spot that is going to hold my camera in, in place and not fall. And, uh... Hold up, let me scoot up a little bit closer. But you have to be like a little bit ingenuitive sometimes. I don't know if I'm like wided out like crazy. I don't even know if y'all boys can see the background. I'm gonna, I'm working on not cursing and it's been a little bit more friendly because it's super weird trying to tell people why like they should, might not want to play my videos or I like catch myself feeling embarrassed to tell them like, you can't watch this, but you might not want to watch my videos because I may say like a couple bad words or something. And uh, it's something I've been working on, you know, chat. And um, if you are new to the channel, I appreciate all my new subscribers. I'm on the way to 10K, and I know my content's a lot different now. Like, my content really is a lot different than it probably was. So if I'm losing subscribers, like, I'm sorry, truthfully. Um, I know I started my channel with like car content and now it's kind of everything. It's real life. It's just all of the above, bro. Like every day is something new. I don't know what I'm going to get into. I don't know what life's going to hold. And that's kind of what's cool. Um, if you are new to YouTube and just take me for example, bro, I started making car videos. Now I try to motivate, inspire people. And sometimes that's what is best in life is to go down your own path and I'm trying to find my own path so you gotta work with yourself you gotta allow yourself to grow like allow yourself to become adaptive to change you know some people and 99 percent of people aren't able to adapt to change don't want to adapt to change are just happy living in that same routine day in and day out and in order to grow you have to face adversity you're, you have to turn those L's into lessons and not let it be a loss. You know, most of the time in life, like, a lot of people don't understand what losses truly are or, you know, what we call lessons. Like, if you want to become better, you want to become successful, if you want to make more than an average salary, if you want to be able to afford a family, you want to be able to afford these cool cars and have nice things, like, the reason that things cost money and you know like if you look in the parking lot why all these cars are just normal you know what I'm saying like I'm not gonna take anything away from these people because you know everybody it's just all based on perspective like you know what I mean and there's nothing wrong with perspective or there's nothing wrong with an average life or average cars or you know what I'm saying nothing wrong with that at all but for example like for me I like nice things I like expensive cars, I like nice things, and the reason that they make nice things is because people want to work hard, people want to grow, and to achieve a lot of these things, you got to be open to adapt. If you want to make over like 50000 a year and, you know, not flip burgers the rest of your life, you're going to have to lose, you're going to have to 
get broken down, you're going to have to maybe restart from zero a bunch of times or, you know, go down a road you thought was what you were supposed to do, but ends up not being something you enjoy as much as you thought or, you know, everything that you do is a lesson. Like you get an idea, like for me, I have a lot of people saying, maybe you should stop cursing in your videos so you can have kids watch, you'll have more viewers. And it's true. Like y'all don't know a lot of these kids, they don't do nothing but sit on iPads. They don't have nothing to do all day. And these are the people that are gonna be paying our bills, people that are gonna be paying your bills. It's the next generation as I grow older, you gotta think, we get older, you stop kinda sitting on your phone. You're raising a family, you're raising kids, you're trying to get that first house, you're trying to get nice things, you're trying to level up in life and in order to do that, you have to grow. You have to take time. You gotta go down a lot of different paths that you may not understand why you're going down. You have to overcome adversary more than others and some people's life is gonna be easy and your life may be hard and that's just the cool thing about life. And the key to it all is just trying to find what makes you happy. Figure out what you wanna wake up and do and be different and Figure out how to grow yourself to become that person you want to become. And it's not easy, you know. I didn't think I'd be standing here walking around in a living room on vacation at 3.30 in the afternoon in Destin, Florida, talking to you boys about life or talk about why to believe in yourself or why I even enjoy trying to get you boys to try to become better versions of yourself day in and day out. You have to work on yourself. You have to grow. You have to do things that make you uncomfortable. And, you know, we do a lot of things and try to please other people. And I feel like that's where, you know, we kind of lose direction of life or how to steer ourselves into a pathway of becoming happy. And, you know, you see a lot of people with depression nowadays. You see a lot of people giving up at our age. You see like truly, I don't know if it's just because we have the internet and we're able to see everybody's opinion. And now every time somebody's sad, mad, breaks up, has an accomplishment, gets a new car, gets something good, it's all put out on the internet. And I don't know if, you know, that could, there's positives and there's negatives to the internet. And it's all on what you dial in, what your algorithm is, what you watch in your free time, what you do, what you spend the most time scrolling on and watching is what it's going to feed you. So when you're sad, you're swiping on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you click a video when you're sad, now it's showing you more videos and now you're sad. Now you're stuck watching sad videos. That's what happens to a lot of us in life. We get complacent, we stay in the same spot, and sometimes we don't even know where we're going and we may be going in the wrong direction and we can't even tell until it's too late, until you're at rock bottom and you have to figure out how to get yourself up out of it. You know, And the only way is to truly just figure out what makes you happy. Figure out what you can do to become closer to your next goal. You gotta set little goals because like, like imagine if my first goal was to buy Tower 2 right here. Like, you know how much money that would cost? And I bet the person that owns all these towers at one point was in our shoes of trying to figure out how to buy that. Or, you know, they probably weren't even thinking like, Maybe they used to flip burgers, you know, and now they own Tower 2, 3, and 4. It's progress in life. You're not going to get everything the first day you're handed it. You know, a lot of joy in life and a lot of happiness comes from the struggle, that first time getting told yes, getting our first cool car, getting our first house, getting that first person to say what's up to you in public if you make videos. Get that first thousand view video. Get that first $10,000 month. Like for me, that's what I'm on. You know, I never really talk about my goals in life just because I don't really know what my goals in life are because every day I wake up and it changes somehow or it gets a little bit clearer as life goes on. I just wake up. I go on my phone, I get off my phone, and I think about life. I think about truly what's gonna make me happy, 
and not what's going to make everybody around you happy. What's going to make your family happy is not what probably is going to make you happy. You know, obviously be a good person, be sweet, be nice, be considerate, be a good person. But like if it's videos, if it's cutting hair, if it's reselling shoes, like there's so many ways to make money in 2024 that our parents didn't have opportunities to. And a lot of the older people aren't going to realize that because obviously the opportunities weren't there presented for them. So in our generation, we have to create path for the generations behind us. And within a hundred years, that generation is going to take our knowledge, spin off of it and have a different way to make money, whether it be easier, whether it be harder, maybe our generation is harder than our parents was. And we just don't know it because like we didn't live back then, you know, I don't know what I would be doing if I didn't have the internet. I don't know what I would be doing if I was a hundred years in the future versus right now, but you got to figure out what makes you happy in the present, but it's all about growth and becoming more acceptable and more knowledgeable on those topics. You know, my first day getting into what I like and talking to y'all, I probably couldn't even complete a full sentence. And sometimes it's still even hard. Like sometimes I save a bunch of videos of knowledge I get and come back and try to speak it in to what touches my heart and try to put it into my perspective and give it to y'all in a way that y'all may be able to understand. You know, you got to find what makes you happy because a lot of the times we get stuck being repetitive and if you're sad and upset and you hate your job or you hate your life or you hate your surroundings or you hate the people you're surrounded with, sometimes the only way is to try to figure out how to make it better. How to make it better? I suggest a notebook. I suggest isolation. I suggest a change. You know, if what you're doing every day hasn't given you the results you wanted, why would you keep doing the same thing you're doing every day? Obviously, it's not working. It's like a video game. If you can't beat the mission and you keep doing it the same way over and over and you can't beat the mission, eventually you got to try something different to get a different result. It's the same way with life. You know, if you want to get to these great places in life, 90% of the people are just too lazy to ever even try to figure out how to be where they want to be. People are too lazy to even take a step out of their comfort zone because they're too worried about embarrassment. And obviously y'all hear me talk all the time about being embarrassed. And I probably wouldn't be sitting here talking like this in front of a full living room of people. But if this was a full living room of people that wanted to listen to you and wanted to hear you, that's all that matters. You're not gonna be able to please everybody. You're not gonna be able to keep everybody happy. You're not gonna be able to entertain everybody. So at the end of the day, all this ties back in with what you enjoy and being yourself and not making everybody happy. And if you were dropped onto this earth with nobody around here, no family and no friends, what would you do? That's the same way you got to treat life now. Do what you do. Figure it out as life goes. Grow. Become more successful. Inspire. Educate. Motivate. And be a good person. You know, life is all about vibrations, emotions, cause and effect, what you do to others comes back, what you think in your head attracts to you. If you don't think you're ever going to become successful or you don't ever think you're going to have any money, ever have that female you want in your life, never have that house you want, never have that family you want, then you're never going to have it. Sometimes you have to be a little bit delusional just at the beginning and look a lot delusional and the less as you grow and you build and become more of that person you've been trying to be, you look less delusional because the progress is there to match your delusion. You know, if this person right here that owns all of these hotels around me, one day at 15 years old said, I want to own a hotel, everybody's going to laugh at that kid. But if you see that person at 40 years old say they want to buy their second hotel you know or someone says they want to buy their second supercar you're not going to look at them as delusional as someone that says they want to buy a hotel or a supercar that nice house for the first time because why because they don't have it 
History repeats itself, and if you can do something once, you can do it twice. Life's weird. You say you want to attract $5,000 a month into your life, and you keep putting that out, keep putting that out, keep putting that out, and next thing you know, what does everybody say that they say they want their first 10K month? They get their first 30K month, bro. Like, I want my first 10K month. I'll run over my goals and show y'all how delusional I am. So everybody that doesn't believe in me, I can try to point them and prove them wrong or show you people that are trying to become delusional and trying to change their life. That's what I don't understand why people hate on someone trying to become better than who they were the day before is all you can do is try to become better than the day you were before. And all the people that are hating on you and telling you not to be some way or something, they haven't provided, God did not provide them with the same vision that you were given. So why should you try to please them when they don't have the same ideas and they don't want the same things you want? It doesn't make sense. So why listen to somebody else with a different vision that you don't have? That's like a doctor trying to be a mechanic that works on cars. Like, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? If I want to become the best doctor in the world, I'm not gonna be watching how to fix car videos, or I'm not gonna try to become a veterinarian and work on dogs, you know? You have to stay in your own lane, you have to stay focused, stay delusional, do things that are gonna make you happy. Why? Because when everybody else around you leaves, and everybody at night goes to sleep and you're the only one up, you got to live with your thoughts, you have to live with yourself. And at the end of the day, if you lose everybody and everybody did disappear, all you got is yourself and your heart, your mind, and your own thoughts. And it's not easy to sit at night wondering and thinking that you could have done more when you know you should have done more. Don't go to bed at night thinking you could have done more or don't go to bed at night trying to become a better person and you didn't even get up out of bed and try. A lot of people wanna sit around and sulk and act like that's what's gonna get them that life that they want. You have to go out and take L's. You have to go learn a lot of things. You have to do a bunch of stupid things to understand what it takes to hold everything up. To build a building this tall, you have to have a good foundation. Without a good foundation, what's a 20-story life? What's a 20-story house? What's going on with your boys, man? Currently Tuesday, April 2nd. Got a couple more days, but it is my brother's birthday. We got a nice little card for my boy. We about to bless him. Let me know my boy's turning eight this year. Did I fart in this card? Maybe, but you opened it and checked. That's worse. Never really. Hold up. But I gotta be quick. Cause like, yeah, I'm literally in a room with all the kids. So I'm whispering right now. But we got my boy's card. We're about to bless him up with a little 50 piece. You know, $50 at the age of eight, bro, is literally insane. And sometimes I gotta keep a couple ones for myself. Cause like, you never know when you might run out of money. Not gonna lie. Like, imagine you go out on the beach, you get lost, and you need an Uber ride back. Always got to keep that, just in case. But I'm about to bless my boy with a $50 piece. Shout out to you, brother. If you are watching, don't spend all this money on Fortnite V-Bucks because that's what little bro be doing. Like, he's weird. But I hope you always have a blessed one. I'm going to update you off if something crazy happens. Don't forget to keep working, keep grinding. Life can change overnight, for real. Look at this, child. We had the ocean with it. In the middle of nowhere, man. Working, working and twerking. If y'all boys don't know, now you do. We got the whole ocean behind us. 
Yeah, you can be my dolphin. <laughs> a dolphin just swam fast though. <laughs> Swimming past. I'm the endangered species. Looks like we're coming up on an endangered species. Uh oh, it's a land shark. Uh oh, it might be some free fish bait. Looks like somebody caught a tree out here, twin. I don't even know. Are we in the middle of nowhere with it? Endangered as hell. As y'all boys can see, we got pops out here. We got the family out here. Your boy's in the middle of literally the ocean, working and twerking, bro. If you don't got motivation to pick up the camera, I'm telling y'all, you just gotta pick up the camera, record what you're doing because like who else is bringing y'all boys content on the side of the ocean, bro? Like, who would have ever thought I would have had the camera out here and I'm out here going behind trees and all that. Look at that. We got palm trees in the middle of the Crab Island, chat. Look at that. We got six star hotels right there. I don't even know where we're at. We're making big things happen. You know, this is not really the content I know that I put out, but it's all that matters is that I'm motivating. I'm trying something new. I'm trying to grow. You got to do something different in life to get different results. If y'all boys are tired of the same results, you got to try something different, bro. Like literally look at this. I don't even know what Eglin Air Force Base is, but if you enter, I don't know. I might have snipers fall out the tree or something. But I'm washed up, sitting on the side of the ocean, and it's a good day. It's like 70 degrees out here. Your boy's in Destin, Florida, Crab Island, drinking a couple cold beers. I ain't even gonna lie, but just wanna let y'all know, man. Never would have thought I would have ever have been here, and now I'm here recording not only am i here but i'm recording with a camera bro we got blue water clear water i'm in the ocean it's a wednesday bro like what am i doing out here that shit's crazy boy just don't give up ever and you can make big things happen like bow rail oh oh look at that man we at the beach. I had to get a quick intro because our thumbnail. I don't know what my thumbnail is going to be. I just want y'all to know, man, it's your boy Bailey. I'm out here in the middle of, I don't even know, out here self-isolating. As you can see, life's good, man. It's what you make of it. I never ever would imagine I'd be out here making this video for y'all, let alone I'm on family vacation. I got my Sony A7C. I'm out here turning up for you boys. Just want y'all to know it's possible to believe in yourself. I got on Instagram today and like, literally let me show y'all because I'm from the middle of nowhere, South Carolina, Spartanburg. I live in South Carolina, bro, whatever that is. And a year ago, I wouldn't have been able to tell y'all boys I'd be in this position to where I am today. like. I'm in the middle of nowhere, not really. I'm in Destin, Florida, Crab Island. I'm walking on a whole beach right now with a camera. That costs as much as my Ranger, bro. A whole four band camera out here in the middle of nowhere just trying to make sh make things happen, bro. I'm trying to show y'all that it's possible. I'm trying to show y'all that self-belief is the only way to make things possible. To try to tell y'all to keep going. like. I'm a whole nobody making things happen and I'm loading up my Instagram this morning and I gave myself self-motivation for the first time because I'm from nowhere, South Carolina, a whole population of nothing and for a lot of you boys like this would, y'all never ever would think this is possible for yourself and I never thought it would be possible for myself either but like I loaded up Instagram this morning and look my notifications I don't know if y'all can see them but like I got 22,000 likes 3,500 likes 200 likes 3,700 likes I got Jonathan Foley in my like in my Instagram story 413k likes and like 
y'all want to try to break me down, beat me down, and tell me it's not possible. And if you're hating, and if you got haters, I want y'all to know like anything's possible. Believe in yourself, and just keep going. That's my, that's all I got to say. I'm about to head back to the boat, and look at this. I don't even know what this is. This looks like some washed up boat that someone used to come break into this Air Force base. But I'm gonna pick up with y'all boys in just a minute. I'm gonna give y'all a quick cinematic of what's happening. I hope y'all boys enjoying the video and yeah, man. So guys, we're leaving the hotel now. Did you After have fun? Yeah. Was this the best, coolest place you've ever went? Yeah. What was your most favorite thing you did while you were here? Probably right. Let me see your tattoo. That's pretty cool. Is that all you wanted to tell him? That's all you wanted to tell him? Bye, guys. Say scrub that what? No. Say scrub that what? No. All right, Chuck. Uh, we coming up on the beach. As y'all boys can see, we it's our last day here in Florida on the way back to home. I figured I haven't taken y'all boys to the beach because I'm not about to ruin the three band camera. I'm about to give y'all a little look at the ocean, show y'all boys where we was at for the week. And of course, it's like the nicest day, whatever we leave, no wind, nothing like that. But as y'all boys can see, we got the beach right here. Give y'all boys a nice little Florida ting ting. Y'all boys can get all the views on views, but we are headed on the way back to South Carolina. Hopefully the Z is back alive because I'm tired of driving that boring Ranger. Drop a like in the comment if y'all boys like this. My brother, if you, he should make more YouTube videos, drop down below and yeah, I'm gonna give my brother a ride in the Z because that boy's only rode in my car like one time and we'll get his reaction to the Z when we get back. But I'm gonna pick up with y'all boys. We are loading up. Yeah. Guys, Say. What's up? It's Riley a Betty Wise back. Woo! Back in the car, headed back home. He told y'all he wants to scrub the like button, but for some reason he doesn't want y'all to scrub it because y'all must have scrubbed it so much there is nothing else to scrub. You gonna upload more videos or what? Yeah. What kind of videos are you gonna make for him? Because if they subscribe to you, you gotta post more than one time a year. I don't know. You don't know what kind of content you're gonna post? All four subscribers. No way. Let's see your channel name. Show them your channel. Show them 757 views on a short. Hey, I know people my age that can't even get that. I didn't know that boy was viral, his first YouTube video, huh? I didn't know that you were viral. So you're viral. No, you are. You, look how many views that got. That was just luck. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. <laughs>